Hi everyone, welcome back to the ASUS North America YouTube page. Today we're going to do a comparison video showing off the brand new G750 JZ ROG laptop. So this is the newest entrance in the Republic, Republic of Gamers laptop line and it is featuring the brand new GeForce GTX 880M GPU from NVIDIA. So the 880M GPU from NVIDIA is going to bring some pretty cool features. It's going to bring some features from the desktop side, um, like shadow play and game stream. Finally, you're going to get, give it over to the mobile side. Um, it's also going to feature a 4700 Core i7 HQ processor. Um, and we're going to pit it up against uh, not exactly uh, the last generation or something from earlier from this generation. We're going to go a couple generations old. We're going to pit it up against this Core i7 3630. Um, as well as a GeForce GTX 670M, of course running with all the later, uh, latest drivers on both laptops. Um, so we'll do a little Unigen benchmark, we'll see how it performs. Um, the screens of course are the same, 1080p screens on both, and uh, we'll have all the settings the same, and then we'll go through and try to do a little bit of Battlefield 4 action, kind of give you a sense of what this 880 is capable of. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and run our first test, which is going to be the Unigen Heaven Benchmark. So what we're going to use here is our trusty little AverMedia Live Gamer Portable. So this will allow us to capture the content, since this is what we're going to show you uh, just a few seconds from now, probably. Um, Settings-wise, on both, we're going to run exactly the same, 1920 by 1080 resolution. The quality is set to high, the tessellation is set to normal, and then everything else is set at default, um, with the anti-aliasing set at times two. So let's go ahead and run the benchmark on each and kind of look at the uh, performance difference that you're going to get with this newest generation G750 JZ. All right, so we're going to go ahead and run the G75 and run it at those Unigen settings that we talked about and see what kind of results we get. You can see in this opening, uh, opening sequence that we're getting about 11 or 12 frames per second. Um, that should speed up a little bit in the subsequent scenes. Um, but we can see that we're already at a place that is not really playable and, and pretty jittery. So in some scenes, it looks like we're dipping maybe between like 10 and 15 frames per second. In some of the less demanding scenes, we're getting up to maybe 25, 28 frames a second. Um, the latter um, may be being playable, but uh, the former being a little bit too low to uh, smoothly play a game. Okay, so we can see that the benchmark has completed. Uh, looks like we averaged about 15 frames per second and gave us a score of 377 with a min FPS of 5.5 and a max of 31.1. So let's go ahead and run the G750JZ with the GeForce GTX 880M. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run that same test over here on the G750JZ, the brand new ROG laptop um, with the GeForce GTX 880M and the 4700 Core i7 HQ processor. So Go ahead and hit run here. And once it loads up, we'll go ahead and start the benchmark by hitting the F9 key. And uh, we'll run it to completion and see what kind of score we get and minimum frames and maximum frames we do compared to the uh, G75 that we just ran. So we can see already uh, the G75 from before was doing maybe 11 to 14 frames per second here. Here we're already above 30. So this is going to fare really well for the rest of the test here. All right, and to get a, a more accurate picture and get them all both on the same screen for you guys so you guys can compare side by side on performance, um, on the left we're going to have the G75, and on the right we're going to have the new G750JZ. Um, so here we go. Okay, so the uh, Heaven benchmark has finished on the G750JZ here, and we can see uh, frames per second wise we're at 43.9, um, the score is at 1100, the min FPS is at 7.8, and then the max is at 100.8. Um, so that we can see that we have dramatically improved performance. Um, it went from an unplayable average up to a very playable average. Now we're going to take a look at another game. We're going to take a look at Battlefield 4. We're going to run them both on this G75 and the new G750. Um, so of course this is not apples to apples. If you're wanting to compare, this is running a 670M on this side and we are running the brand new 880M on this side. 
Um, so keep that in mind. If you do have a computer at home or a laptop at home with a mobile graphics, um, whether it's like a 770 or a 780M, um, you can go ahead and run the same settings that we're going to here, which is level two of Battlefield 4. Um, the quality settings have all been set to ultra. Everything else is on default. Um, so then you can use that to kind of compare performance if you want to go ahead and do that. So let's take a look at how they perform. We're going to be all right. Did you call Dunn's wife? I haven't gotten around to that yet, Pac. What am I supposed to say? It's not like he died a peaceful death, and I'm not going to lie about it. Irish! Irish. Come on, Cindy, sing. Sorry, miss. I swear this shit is all fucked up. Cops all jittery. I'm just going to drive through the shit storm and pick up the prize, right? Waltz through the raindrops. Right, Wrecker? <laughs> We're stuck. We gotta leave the van, guys. Continue on foot. Copy. Come on, Wrecker. Okay, so you can see that once we're outside, uh, the frame rate took a significant drop on the 670. The power from the 880 is really showing through here, um, whereas on the 670, we are dropping in the low teens. Uh, maybe bumping up to the 20s when we're not rendering a lot of the background um, information and we can see that on the 880M we're staying pretty smooth uh, above 30 frames a second. You can see that although we don't have a built-in benchmark for Battlefield 4, we're going through um, pretty much the same situation and the same scenes. I'm kind of trying to render the same things and get a good idea for uh, what kind of frame rates we can expect um, from a 670 up to an 880. Um, and we can see a pretty drastic difference in, in most all situations. So the 880 is really a significant step up uh, on previous generation GPUs. See the frame rates much more, much higher on the 880M. So, <clears throat> on top of just the gameplay experience itself, uh, you're going to be able to really take advantage of some of the new NVIDIA features like Shadow Play, uh, which will auto record your last 20 minutes worth of footage and the quality that you select through the NVIDIA drivers. Um, so, you can enable that feature uh, knowing that you're really not going to take a significant hit to the frame rate, which is going to cause it to be uh, unplayable or stutter just enough to, to where you're not comfortable playing the game. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of like performance preview of the 880M and kind of see how it works in Heaven and Battlefield 4. If you guys have any questions or you have suggestions on how you want to see performance reviews uh, in the future, go ahead and feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, this is Nick with ASUS, and I'll see you next time.